We finished eight more bottles of whiskey. Would we buy them again or are they one and done? Hi friends, I'm Laura, this is Troy, we're Baker Drinks, and we're going through our recent bottle kills to let you know if we'd replace them or if we're done with them. All right, you wanna start or you want me to start? Go ahead. Okay, so the first bottle on the list is okay. I. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the way you said that. <laughs> this is a single barrel. It's part of the Repeal Day trilogy. This was Act One. It was a trilogy that Sealbox put out for last year's repeal day. We were able to buy the first one, and then for some reason, Sealbox stopped shipping to Washington State, so we weren't able to pick up the second or third, and then Sealbox started shipping to Washington State again. I saw that they were available still, but this one honestly didn't make that good of an impression on me that I felt compelled to chase down the Act Two or Act Three. Um, it, it, it's good whiskey. It's not great whiskey. And for the price that they want for it, plus shipping, I just feel like this was one and done for us. So we drank a little over half of this bottle and then we sampled out the rest. Um, hopefully, if you got some of those samples, you liked them. Like I said, it is good whiskey. It's just not something I'm gonna chase down. OKI is not available near us, so it is an online order. So whatever they cost, it's plus shipping and again, Good whiskey, not great, so not gonna replace. Okay, so then I have an Elijah Craig single barrel. Uh, doesn't matter who it's from, really. They all tend to be delicious. Uh, we have had quite a few of these. Would we get another one? You know, probably. Depends on who puts it out. If it's someone that we support, we would buy their single barrel. If it's just some random store, I'm probably not gonna pick one up because we have so much Elijah Craig that's at Barrel Proof that I don't really need a ton more of them, but they're delicious. I love them. Yeah, I mean, it, it's situational. If, if it's a private barrel that's got an exceptional age statement or an exceptional proof, I would say we'd pull the trigger. This one here happens to be hazmat. Oh, look at that, 141.6 proof, 10 year old. So that was a definite yes. <laughs> And if I saw another one with those stats, it would be a definite yes as well. If it was like an eight year at like 121 proof and it wasn't somebody we know, it'd probably be a pass. Next up, I've got a Stellum. This is the blue label. This was a single barrel, also from Sealbox. It was called the Vega single barrel. Um, Stellum, it, it's part of Barrel Craft Spirits. It was supposed to be their more affordable line of whiskeys. But what I found is, you know, $10 cheaper than the normal barrel craft spirits doesn't make it more affordable. Yeah, they're still like 80 bucks or something. Yeah, and again, it's really good whiskey. These are really good. I, I hear that the Stellum line is going away or has gone away. So if you see these sitting out in the wild and they're on sale, which I've heard a lot of them are, I would say it's probably worth picking up if you've never had it before. Um, we've, we've had probably four or five of these bottles, um, the bourbons and the rise, the blue labels, the black labels. We, we kind of went all in on it initially, and, and I'm talking, you know, two, three years ago, but haven't bought one in a while. And it's not one we visit often, you know, it kind of gets lost in the shuffle. And for that alone, I'm gonna say, I won't rebuy this. But you never know. You can never say never. If I see them in a in just a fire sale somewhere. That's what I was saying. If we see them on sale somewhere, <laughs> we're probably getting one. Yeah. But at a normal price, probably not. Yeah. And I've got a Knob Creek nine year single barrel. This is a, not a pick. It's just their shelfer single barrel. We probably would not pick up another one of these just because it's a shelfer single barrel. They're good, we like them. I don't have anything bad to say about it, but I would prefer to get one a pick. So I, we would get a pick, we probably won't get the shelfer. Yeah, the, the, the picks tend to be a lot better than just the standard single barrels that you sit on that sit on the shelf. Same proof, it's like 120, just like mm -hmm. the picks. It, it's good whiskey, I, I'm not, It's we're not chasing it. 
Um, the last one we bought, a good friend of ours, it was his pick, so we got it. And it's delicious, but uh, I mean, good price, good whiskey. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing bad about it. We just uh, would prefer to get a pick from somebody instead of just the shelfer. I've got a Peerless bourbon. This is a single barrel. It is a Bourbon Junkies pick. This was their baptized March 30th, 2022 bottle. It's got a cool tater sticker on it. It had a cool story. I, I think they drilled into a barrel and it like shot Dan in the face. He was baptized with bourbon. Kind of funny. It, it's good whiskey. Again, not great, not memorable. Good, solid whiskey. Um, we paid a premium for it because it was a Bourbon Junkies pick and we had to pay for shipping. So I, I wouldn't do that again. If I saw some Peerless sitting on the shelf here in our town, which I won't because it's not here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and the price was good, I would, I would buy one, but I'm not gonna buy one of these again, unless it's a pick from somebody we know and we really like. Next, I've got a bottle that most of you probably have as well. It's a Buffalo Trace, just a standard Buffalo Trace. And I probably will always have this bottle on my shelf. I love the flavor of it. I love the price point. I, there's nothing wrong with it in my book. I can make cocktails with it. I can drink it neat. I'm always happy with it. So Buffalo Trace is a win for me. Yeah. Would we replace it? Yes, we already have. We've got four of those. <laughs> Do we really? Oh, because we have a couple picks. Yeah, we got a couple picks and a couple shelfers. It's it's just shelf staple. Yeah, and luckily for us, it's pretty easy to find. So I don't have to chase it and I don't have to pay over the price. So definitely going to keep replacing it for the price. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to hear what you're going to say. So Picture this, you're at the county fair. It's a hot summer day, like 85 degrees, no wind. Okay. You're walking through the livestock exhibit. Okay. You're getting the livestock smell mm -hmm. and everything that comes with that livestock smell, mm -hmm. the hay, the manure, you, you're getting it all. That's what this bottle right here had in it. <laughs> That's the farm strength uncut Frey Ranch, specifically batch 12. I bought this bottle uh, due to FOMO, due to internet hype. You all said it was a great bottle. So many people said it was really good. <laughs> and it just is not really good to me. If you like it, good for you. There's going to be more of it available for you. I'm not buying it anymore. This bottle was a huge letdown for me. And I, I love the whole story. They're, they're grain to glass. They grow everything on their own farm. They harvest it, they process it, they, they distill it, they make this, this whiskey. Um, all of the big channels went out and did picks with them. Uh, Colby, and I believe her name's Ashley Frey, seem like really nice people in interviews I've seen with them. And it, some of those picks <clears throat> are amazing. Yeah, I mean, we've had some Frey Ranch that we do like. Um, just this farm strength, uncut batch 12, it did not hit my palate or Laura's um, or anybody we shared this with. <laughs> it, it just wasn't good. Um, if you like it, like I said, more power to you. I will not be buying this bottle again. One and done. Under any circumstance. Next bottle, I've got the Remus Straight Bourbon Whiskey Highest Rye. So it's 51% corn, 39% rye, and 10% malted rye. So barely a bourbon, almost a rye whiskey. Fantastic. Uh, this will definitely be one we replace. We haven't replaced it yet, but I love the bottle. Obviously, this one was not one we sent out to a bunch of people. It was one that I drank a whole bunch out of. So, I mean, we did, <laughs> we did share some, but but this one was more of a, I drank it because I really liked it. So it's one that I would replace for sure. 
Yeah. And it's on the short list for bottles that we'll be looking for next time we're out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all we got for today. So I hope you liked it. Let us know what bottles you've killed recently, if you'd replace any of them, or if you they were one and done. We love reading those comments. So like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again soon.